There are all sorts of large vehicles on our roads, including articulated HGVs, box fans, cement trucks, skip lorries and so on. More than 25 cyclists are killed every year in crashes involving HGVs. That's about one in five of all cyclists who die in road accidents. The aim of this video is to raise awareness of this problem and particularly the dangers of riding along the near side of large vehicles. We've already produced a video aimed at the drivers, so this film is designed to help cyclists by showing how you can very simply avoid becoming a statistic. It's all about understanding each other's point of view, the truck drivers and yours. But for HGV drivers, it's sometimes really difficult to spot cyclists, especially when you're riding along the near side. Because the cab's so high up off the ground and the vehicle's so long, they can't see a thing directly behind, so they have to rely on wing mirrors alone. But often, not being cyclists themselves, they don't understand how fast they appear to be going from the cyclist's level, or how the side wind can affect riders when they're overtaking them. You can help yourself and drivers by wearing something bright, preferably fluorescent and reflective. And, of course, making sure you have working lights and reflectors in the dark. When a large vehicle is turning left, it will often move out to the right first. This creates a wide gap on the left side between the vehicle and the curb, which many cyclists think is safe to ride into. But in fact, this is a very dangerous place to be because the vehicle will cut in very close to the kerb as it turns and the gap will disappear. Even with all their mirrors, the driver may not have seen a cyclist who is in the gap on their near side. And remember, drivers don't always signal when they are going to turn, so don't assume it's going straight on just because it's not signalling left. Let's take another look at that collision. As the HGV came to a stop at the junction, the cyclist didn't hang back but rode along the near side of the vehicle and the kerb. The worst possible place. Why? Because when a cyclist is alongside, the driver may not see them. The lights change and both the cyclist and HGV pull away. In an instant, it's all over. The cyclist has no escape route, is squeezed against the kerb and topples over. Let's look at how that cyclist could have avoided this collision. Here's the HGV pulling up at the lights. Here's the cyclist coming up behind the lorry. The cyclist slows to a stop behind it. The driver can clearly see the cyclist in his near side wing mirror. The lights change. The HGV pulls away into the left hand turn. The cyclist lags behind the vehicle. The HGV makes the turn safely and the cyclist is not crushed under the vehicle's wheels. The cyclist carries on with his journey safely. Simple, isn't it? Most of the collisions occur at junctions, so be particularly careful. Some junctions have advanced stop lines with feeder lanes. Even at these junctions, stay back when you come up behind an HGV. It's not worth the risk to use the feeder lane. It's not possible for cyclists and large vehicles to avoid each other completely on our roads. So it's essential that both groups are aware of each other and behave considerately. Drivers need to do their bit by giving cyclists plenty of time and room and always checking and rechecking their mirrors, especially on the left-hand side, to avoid trapping a cyclist and watching their speed. Cyclists need to do their bit, so Think ahead, 
Anticipate driver's actions. Ride well clear of the curb. Make yourself visible. Get yourself some bright clothing and always use lights and reflectors in the dark. Give good, clear signals. And above all, stay safe, stay back. <laughs>